Four teams down, eight to go. Let's talk about the divisional round. All right, guys. We are through the wild card round. Now we have the divisional round to talk about. Let's get right in to these four games. All right, so we have two games on Saturday, two games on Sunday. We're going to start the Saturday games, and we're going to start off with Minnesota traveling to San Francisco. Minnesota, that was an impressive win against New Orleans. They were able to stop them early, able to use the run against them, and then in overtime, they had a big play by Kirk Cousins and Adam Thielen. Great job by Minnesota in that victory, able to go into a hostile environment and win. Now, can they do this against San Francisco? This is the number one team in the NFC, and it's not easy to play in San Francisco, let's be honest. It's not an easy place for a road team to get a victory. Let's talk about some factors. For Minnesota, it's Kirk Cousins. Can he step up and make a big play when needed? And it's also Davin Cook. If they can get him going early and get him going often, they're going to have a chance. And if, with Minnesota's defense, they have to stop San Francisco offense early. If they can stop him early, they can continue with the run with Dalvin Cook, and they can limit the pressure that's going to be on Kirk Cousins. If they can do that, they have a chance. For San Francisco, it's all about their front seven. If they can get pressure on Kirk Cousins and stop Dalvin Cook early, then they can blow away with this game. And on offense, Jimmy Garoppolo has to limit his mistakes and his players around him have to make plays. That's how this game is going to be done. San Francisco cannot take Minnesota lightly. New Orleans found that out the hard way. Now, who do I think is going to win this game? Give me San Francisco. I think they're going to hit them early, hit them often. All right, let's move on to Tennessee against Baltimore. Tennessee, they knocked out the New England Patriots. It's going to be the first time since 2009 that the Patriots will not advance to the AFC Championship game. That's pretty amazing. Tennessee was able to do that. Mike Vrabel called a great game against them, and they were able to get that done. Now, the key for this one, Derrick Henry, he has to get going early and often. Ryan Tannehill, he cannot make any mistakes against this Baltimore defense. He does that, Baltimore's going to take advantage of it. Their offense is the best in the league. And on defense, they have to find a way to limit Lamar Jackson. That's going to be tough because not a lot of teams have done that all year long. Find a way to control his legs, and make him make mistakes when throwing the ball. If they can do that, they're going to remain in this game. For Baltimore, they just have to do what they've done all year. For the offense, just run the ball early and often, run it down their throat. No team has been able to stop your running game all year. And on defense, show that intensity that Tennessee's offense has. You match that intensity. You do that, it's going to be very tough for Tennessee to find running holes and be able to complete passes. Now, I'm going to go with Baltimore on this. When they are at home, it is loud and it is very tough to play there. So I'm going to go Baltimore, but I would not be shocked to Tennessee one. I expect this to be a close game. Now, let's move on to the Sunday games. First game up is Houston against KC. This is the battle of the 2017 quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson going up against Patrick Mahomes for the second time this year. Houston was able to knock off KC Early on, can KC get that revenge? Well, in order for Houston to do that again, starts with Deshaun Watson. He has got to get off to a hot start, be able to keep up with KC. Another thing, is Will Fuller going to be healthy? If Will Fuller is healthy, that adds another dimension to that offense. When Will Fuller is not there, the offense is not as good as when he is there. So if Will Fuller is healthy, this is a whole different offense. And hopefully Houston can get a running game going. They can get some kind of running game going. Then maybe you'll be able to trust them later on in the game. Now for KC, I think this starts with their defense. I don't think their offense is what's going to start this. If their defense can hold Watson just enough during the game, then their offense is going to score enough points. We already know their offense can do that. But their defense has gotten better as the season has gone on. And I think if their defense can continue to do that, that's going to be the difference in the game. And for Casey's offense, they just got to continue doing what they've done all year. Patrick Mahomes, he's one of the best young quarterbacks in this league. And their receiving core is probably the fastest receiving core in the league. Nobody can keep up with them. I mean, you talk about Tyreek Hill, Hardman, Pringle. Those guys are very fast, and it's very tough to cover them. And Travis Kelsey, he's just a matchup nightmare. Now, for this rematch, who am I going with? I'm going to go with KC. They get the revenge at Arrowhead. 
and they play Baltimore in the AFC Championship game. Now, what about the last one? Well, I'm going to tell you about that right now. We have Seattle going up against Green Bay. And when these two play in the playoffs, it's pretty good. Everybody remembers back in the 2014 playoffs when Seattle came from behind to beat Green Bay to get back to the Super Bowl. And there was also the old three playoff game where Matt Hasselbeck said, we want the ball and we're going to score. And that didn't work out well for them. But it's pretty rememberable when these two play. And I expect this to be no different. I expect this to be a highly fought game. And it's going to be a battle between Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers. Wilson has been amazing all year long. The things that he has done on the field have been nothing short of spectacular. If it wasn't for Lamar Jackson, he'd be the MVP. It's that simple. And Aaron Rodgers, he's just been able to work with Matt LaFleur, been able to get this offense moving, and that's why Green Bay was able to become 13-3. and Now, this is very tough. But I'm actually going to go with Seattle over Green Bay. And the reason, I think Seattle is just a more consistent team. Green Bay, they may have gone 13-3, and but there were some games where you just thought they do not look like a Super Bowl contender. And that happened more times than you want to see from a team that could potentially get there. For Seattle, they looked like the better team. And I know they lost two more games, but to me, I think they're the better team. And I think Seattle is going to be able to get that done in Lambeau. So they will play the 49ers in the NFC Championship game. All right, guys, those were my picks for the divisional round. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.